Hey guys, so another Reading Wednesday, and I read The Curious Case of Benjamin Button by F. Scott Fitzgerald. Um, I didn't realize that this book was based off of, or based in, Baltimore, Maryland. Um, or at least it started out in Baltimore, Maryland, because that's like really close by. Um, it's fairly short. It's only 52 pages. Um, or at least this copy is. Uh, but yeah, it was really interesting. I've never seen the movie, and I think it's cool how he ages backwards. So he starts out as an old man and then grows into a baby or shrinks into a baby. Um, but it's fairly, like, even though it's a short, really skinny book, it takes you a while to read through it because you kind of don't want to miss certain sections of his life. Um, normally with classics, I really do not like watching the movies. Um, for example, um, uh, what's the one with Heathcliff and I know what I'm talking about. Um, the Heights book. Gosh, I can't even remember the name of it. I know who I'm talking about with Heathcliff. Anyways, watch the movie. Totally like pointless movie. Well, there's like eight different versions, I think, to that one. And I watched like the more modern one. And then I watched the one with um, the guy who plays Rick from The Walking Dead. That one was actually a lot better because the guy who played Heathcliff was like on point Heathcliff. Um, he was really like up in his role. He was great. Uh, and I think it was like one of those BBC, BBC or something, Hallmark channel, um, movies, but it was really, really great. So that was the only one I liked that was a classic turned into a movie, other than The Phantom of the Opera. Um, I didn't like... <laughs> I think they made the Scarlet Letter into a movie. I didn't like that. Les Miserables. I have yet to watch that, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to prefer the book over the movie. Um, the Portrait of Dorian Gray, that was just ruined for me by the movie because for some reason, a lot of teachers that I have had in school decide to show the movie for the most part while you're reading the book but you get further ahead in the movie than you do in the book obviously because the book has more details so we basically finished watching the picture of Dorian Gray before we even finished the book and it was the one with Ben Barnes and like don't get me wrong the special effects and stuff were cool and like the movie overall was cool and like yeah it, I mean I guess it could pass as okay for a classic theme turned into a like new time uh, or like a modern day film but I always tend to prefer the actual books to movies um, that'll be probably a talkative Thursday to be honest but yeah I definitely do recommend reading this it's a fairly short read I think most of you guys will enjoy it um, just for the fact it's merely odd that he was born like an old man of like 80 something and then by the time he actually is 80 something he looks like a newborn baby so alright bye guys